Okay, so we are going to create two graphs here that will meet the requirements, the properties that are given. We don't all have to have identical graphs. So when you turn your homework in, it should not be identical to mine, but similar. Okay? So in number one, we are going to sketch a continuous function. So that means no jumps. It has to be all connected. Um, and it needs to have these three points. These first three bullets are just giving you specific points. So this would be the point negative two, four, one, negative two, and four, three. So I have to have those three points on the graph. Let's do that first. So negative two, one, two, three, four, one, negative two, and four, three. So I've got all of those done. One, two, three requirements. Got two things left I gotta force onto my graph. One is that the domain is from negative two to four. Now, what that means is the leftiest point on your graph has to be negative two, which I already put a point there. The value is four at that point. So at negative two, four, that is where my graph begins. It cannot, I cannot have anything to the left of that point. And it has to end at four. Well, four was the, the third point I put on there. F of four was three. So this has to be the rightmost point on my graph. Okay. Now, how do I connect those? Let's read our last bullet point here and see if we can um, use that. The function is decreasing when x is less than 1. Well, here's where x is 1. x is 1 at all of the points on this dotted line, including the one that we plotted. My function has to be decreasing everywhere to the left of 1 and increasing everywhere to the right of 1. Okay, so decreasing till I get to one, increasing after one. And that simple V-shaped graph meets all of the requirements listed over here. That's one possible answer. Nothing said it had to be linear on either side, so you did not have to make straight uh, segments but it did have to be decreasing everywhere to the left of one and increasing everywhere to the right of one. All right, number two. Again, it's going to be a continuous graph. And we are given, again, three points to put on there. So let's go to negative four, negative three, negative one, five. One, two, three, four, five. And three. 3, negative 2, okay? The x-intercepts are negative 3 and 1. So x-intercepts, where they hit the x-axis, at negative 3 and at 1. The g of x-intercept is 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So done and done. The function is increasing when x is less than 1. So that is everything to the left of that dotted line. And it's decreasing after negative 1. So I have to be going up on this side and down on the right side. The domain is all real numbers. Now, that means that my graph needs to continue heading left and heading right forever beyond what I can just show on my graph. So the difference between this one and number 1 is we need the arrows on both ends to say this thing continues beyond what we see, okay? So I, I need to hit the points that I graphed, so, and now, I notice this one, I, I did a little bit more curve to it. You don't have to do that, but it's certainly welcome. Um, they can be connected straight or curvy, but we do need to continue to the left, or I'm sorry, that's to the right, and here to the left, um, beyond what we see in the picture. 